Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Poor Boys Fiat Floorboard Repair. Since I cannot re afford to replace the entire floorboard on my car and it is a daily driver, I'm going to see what I can do to patch the floorboards and possibly make them just as strong as new or until I can afford to have the floorboards done like the rich people can. So this is the beginning. I just peeled up the rubber floor mat and you can notice all the moisture and things there. So we'll take a look up underneath and see what we have in just a minute. Okay, looking from underneath the car. Uh, by the way, this is a 71 Fiat 850 sedan. Uh, Fiat A50s were notorious for floorboard issues. Uh, like I say, I drive this car every day. Put an average of about 50 miles a day on it. Sometimes 200 a day. And believe me when I say every day. So this isn't, isn't too bad of a situation so far, but we haven't taken off any of the uh, undercoating or the in inside uh, insulation that they put down before they put the rubber mat down. So I'll get that up and then we'll be back and take a look and see what we really have. Howdy folks, welcome back to uh, part two of Poor Boy's Floorboard Repair. Uh, 71 Fiat 850 sedan, daily driver. I just got a little bit, did a little bit more cleanup on it. Just wanted to show you what we're looking at so far. Got some cancer in there, whatnot. And as you've noticed, I haven't chipped out any of the serious cancer yet. Um, I plan on cleaning that up best I can and going over the top of that with three to four layers of fiberglass, top and bottom. I repeat, top and bottom. And then after that's dried, or cured, however you want to say it. We will spray some undercoating, a few coats of undercoating on the top and bottom, and I believe that is going to be structurally sound for me at least, but not for a lot of you out there. You'll say, well, why didn't you spend the time to cut the floorboards out and put them in, all that good stuff, but that takes money, and it takes time, and you know, when you're using a car as a daily driver, you don't a lot of times have that extra time and yes I have another car I could drive but I don't like driving my other car I love driving my Fiat and when it is down I want it back on the road so on that note I'll continue to clean and then give you another shot of what I've done alrighty we're back here um, again just wanted to show you that I got most of the area that I need to fiberglass cleaned and shined up down to the bare metal as far to the bare metal as I could possibly get it without rubbing another hole in it. Shift up to the front here. That was the back seat floorboard. This is part of the front floorboard and around by the uh, whatever they call that piece around by the door there. And, uh, but we're just about ready fiberglass um, spray some rust proofing down in some areas before I fiberglass or after I fiberglass over this metal here and we'll be back in a minute to show you the bottom half okay this is the bottom half of the floorboard the rear floorboard about ready or it is ready to be fiberglassed and sealed. Have quite a bit of little spots here and there. But like I said, this will, I think, seal it up pretty good, and only time will tell. Alrighty, we're back here. I'm ready to start laying some of the fiberglass cloth and 
for those of you that aren't familiar with fiberglass cloth and resin, I know most of you out there probably are, but it looks like this. And there's several versions or manufacturers that make it. Uh, I bought this from AutoZone and it's uh, made by Bondo. And then I'm going to be using this uh, Bondo fiberglass resin along with uh, a specific amount of drops of hardener depending on how much how many ounces of resin uh, that you're using and you can read that or get that from your manufacturer on the can um, I have already custom cut a few pieces that most of the holes in my floorboards fall under um, I have an 11 by 11 square piece uh, pre-cut here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the resin uh, in a separate container uh, and then uh, what I've done is put a piece of wax paper underneath each piece of fiberglass cloth and I have a couple of other pieces up here on top of the car that I'll show you that are pre-cut with wax paper I'm going to be doing the bottom of the car first uh, and the wax paper is basically to keep the resin from dripping out of the cloth and keep the cloth saturated until it uh, firms up so I'm going to do that and then I'll uh, take some pictures of it uh, in just a few minutes and let you know, let you see what it looks like. Uh, just another quick uh, list of things you'll need for uh, laying the resin and uh, the Bondo. Um, of course a fiberglass cloth, a some sort of a spreader to spread the resin over the fiberglass cloth once, once it is mixed. Um, you'll need the resin hardener, the resin itself, and a container to mix the resin in. And also it's a great idea to have a set or two or three or four of rubber gloves handy. This stuff gets really, really sticky when you start to use it. So, And it gets on your hands, it will be difficult to get off. I, I mean, so, mild soap and water will take it off, but it's just... Uh, it makes it a lot uh, easier and a cleaner install if you use rubber gloves. I'll be back with the first piece uh, fiberglass installed on the car and you'll be able to take a look. Just wanted to show you real quick what the resin looks like um, on the the uh, matting or on the uh, fiberglass cloth. Mix the resin, pour it on top of the cloth and use a spatula and saturate it. Saturate the cloth really good and don't forget to put the um, wax paper underneath uh, but that's basically what it looks like and we're going to stick it on the car well there's a picture of some of the first few pieces I put on the car there uh, that's on the front driver's side floor panel I haven't yet covered the entire area yet but as you can see there's just uh, you get kind of the idea of how to do that I think this is going to hold pretty good with uh, three, possibly four layers on the bottom and three on the top. Uh, after 41 years of service, uh, this rust rod on these four pans aren't too bad. But as we go along, I'll take some other shots and hopefully we'll be finished up here sometime this afternoon. couple of quick shots of some of the fiberglass cloth on the inside of the car over some of the patches there. And we'll build those up as we go along. Okay, um, I'm back here uh, with the underside of the floorboard on the 71 Fiat. I have laid three layers of fiberglass on the bottom, on the round curvature bottom, complete uh, side to side on this. And after this I'm just going to lightly sand the bumps and stuff off of it and then spray uh, about two, two to three coats of undercoating on there. That should seal it up for a while. Okay, this is the inside of the car on the driver's side rear floorboard. Same thing, three coats of fiberglass. Uh oh, sorry for that. And then I just had some 
had a spot there in the front covered that with three coats on both sides front, top and bottom right here in the corner there was just a couple of little tiny rust holes but we fiberglassed it from here all the way up underneath the clutch pedal right there uh, and it does go up two inches on the inner of the outer of the fender well right there so the fiberglass makes a main and goes up all the way around that curve so three coats should seal it up and I'm going to do the same thing in here rust proof uh, a coat of rust, rust uh, repellent on this and then go over the top of that with a um, uh, the undercoating a couple times it should last me at least 10 years howdy folks uh, back with you real quick to show you the results of the fiberglassing uh, three layers on the inner inside uh, this is the inside driver uh, floorboard or a passenger floorboard there and then um, I had a spot right in here so I put three layers of fiberglass over that and then around the inner uh, tire well um, all the way up to the front there were some spots here and there uh, little rust holes but uh, got it all covered and clean and covered with three layers there top and bottom I'll show you in the bottom in just a sec okay here's a quick shot of the bottom um, of the pan three coats and again folks this is not a restoration project everyday driver uh, car um, I don't want to put the money in into having the floorboards completely replaced right now that takes time and sometimes a lot of money so I'm gonna call this a, a three to five year temporary fix on this three coats here in the front that's the uh, left wheel well right there right up uh, underneath the clutch pedal there was just a couple some minor rest but I covered that and then underneath one of the seat tracks uh, it didn't didn't affect the seat track or the bracing there at all that was fine so uh, be back and I'll show you the only thing left to do now is undercoat it I'm gonna put two coats and uh, probably three coats of undercoating just to get it nice and thick uh, I'll show you that in a while back again here just to show you that I'm just about done I got one coat of undercoating on the underside of the car and this is the back the section we just re made the repairs on and I'm going to show you the front in a minute here we are underneath the front left wheel again there's the repair I just made uh, we'll put a couple more coats on and call it good well we're back one more final time just want to show you the undercoating that's on the floor now I uh, put two heavy coats on there and that I think it's going to take care of it for me. Put the seat back in, in it tomorrow and get back on the road. I'll show you the bottom half real quick and then I'm done. If you're curious as to what I put on the inside and outside underneath, uh, it's just rust oleum undercoating, rubberized stuff. Bottom floorboards one more time. Most of the work done right in this area right here. We're done. Catch you later. Uh, all this took me f four days and about $175. Not too bad.